Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook. This is Joe Hugh for IFL TV Take Two. Um, hang on, don't don't blame me right, for this, this one. Is an unbelievable scenes. Go on. Joe Pugh is doing the interviews and Coogan Cassian is holding the camera and we just did, he said one minute ten. We've done about three minutes where I was absolutely on fire and this plum, Coogan Cassian, is holding the camera and he hadn't even turned it on. What a rookie. <laughs> and I'm meant oh, to be the rookie. Exactly. Right, Dalton Smith tonight, let's go straight into it. Um, brutal, brutal stoppage. Yeah. The risk taking Jose Zapata. No one has done that to him until tonight. Yeah. And that was the statement he needed to make to that 140 pound division. Absolutely. World class performance. And no one's done that to Jose Zapata before. You know, made him not beat the count. And the performance all round was first class. Buzzed him a couple of times. Zapata was starting to unravel. But you could see how dangerous and heavy handed he was. And, you know, it took a beautifully timed body shot to the solar plexus to make him count him out. And a massive statement to the world that, that Dalton Smith is the real deal. You love that up there, don't you? After that fight, we were standing there thinking, what is he going to say? What is he going to say about the ones, uh, Adam Azim? I dare you. That, that ain't the words. Do you dare him? That's, that's, listen, that's what it's all about, isn't it? I dare you. I dare you to take the fight because you ain't going to take the fight. And they've played it so badly. Like They continuously play it so badly. And like the advice for their fighters, because it's like you could have got out of this situation about a month ago, right, by just doing what you're going to do anyway and doing what you was going to do all along, which is vacate your belt and duck Dalton Smith. But if you're not ready for Dalton Smith, that's fine. We know you're not ready. But don't string it out. Get all the questions. And please, for God's sake, all of you lot, you vultures in this room, ask me questions every single day and I don't duck any of them. You ask me whatever I want. When are you going to... Next week, Boxer Ever Show... When are you going to ask Ben Shalom and the team what is going on? Are you going to fight Dalton Smith or not? Right, so... Right, so... Yeah, vultures. Okay, next week... Next week... Right, yeah, next week... We're obviously going to be at Wardy Clark. I'm going to play him what you're about to say. So, here's... You can take the mic. You've got to ask him the questions. Why have I got to ask him the questions? Because Why can't you ask him the questions that you ask me all the fucking time? So now I've got to do everything, have I? I've got to ask you the questions. You've become one of the vultures. I've got to sing the theme tune. I've got to dance to the theme tune. Yeah? But, the, but at the end of the day, ask him. All we want to know is, stop fucking everybody around. Are you going to take the fight? You're embarrassing your fighters because the whole social media world now is, is out in Adam Azim going, mate, what are you doing? Because we're going to world level. We will drop down the levels to fight Adam Azim because the British fight fans love the fight. We love the fight because we can't lose the fight. But stop fucking around. If you're going to take the fight, take the fight. If you're not, get out of the way. Vacate the title. That's it. So my question is, are you going to take the fight now or are you going to vacate? You can ask that. Why doesn't anyone ask him? Why don't you just fucking ask me all the time? Oh, Eddie, you couldn't ask the question as well. Do you want me, what do you want me to do? Come to the press conference? Well, if, you, if you're free, to, if you're free, you, you can... To, do you want me to, I don't know, blow his nose, wipe his bum? I don't know. Do everything? I mean, I know I'm fucking Mr. British Boxing, but I can't do everything. <laughs> Jeez. Um, Dawson Smith, uh, in the post-fight interview in the ring, said on a couple of occasions, uh, I'm with the best promoter in the world. Do you think that was a sly little dig at Boxer and Ben Shalom? No, he's just a very honest man. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh. <laughs> We've just signed a new extension yep. to Dalton Smith's contract, which is very important to us because you know I believe he's a, a star of British boxing. We've done an unbelievable job for Dalton Smith. We lost a purse bid. He went on Sky, right? Because we didn't want him to vacate the belt. We said no problem. He won over there. He came back to us. Sky tried to sign him. You know, people have been trying to sign Dalton Smith. He stayed incredibly loyal. He signed the new three fight extension. That's the fight that's going to take him to the world championship. And we know exactly what we're doing. We don't stall. We don't fret. We don't panic. We don't run around like headless chickens. What we do is we make moves. And we guide our fighters the correct way, at the correct speed, with the correct opportunities to the world championship. 
It's called proven fucking pedigree. Wow. Um, yeah, just through the rest of the card, we just had Sandy Ryan here at the post-fight press mm. conference. Talk about a statement. That was a statement getting a stoppage over Terry Harper. You know, I said before the, this show, this is going to be a great night of boxing, and it really was. Nico Leviar's great fight. Shout out, by the way, to Piotr Merger as well, who didn't stop trying. Horrendous cut for Nico Leviar's. Looked like he might get stopped. Came back, knocked out Merger with a tremendous body shot. What a fight, Campbell Hatton against Jimmy Joe Flynn. I'm so proud of Campbell Hatton. Well done, Jimmy Joe, deserved the win. I'm glad Campbell didn't get the win because he didn't deserve the win. And if you would have got that decision, it would have really gone against you. And I know that everyone in the arena tonight and everyone watching on the zone turned around and went, fair play, Campbell Hatton. You gave it everything. And when you give it everything, you can look yourself in the mirror and go, I just weren't good enough tonight. But I couldn't have done any more. And that's the reality of the situation. So Jimmy Joe put in a performance that was well beyond central area title. In my opinion, it was English title level, British title eliminator. But Campbell wasn't good enough. But he gave it everything. Showed great heart, showed a good chin, and showed that he can fight as well. So he was devastated. But he'll be back, and he deserves a lot of credit. You um, what? Troy Williamson against Ishmael Davis. You know, Ishmael... Great fight you know, on the inside. Obviously, he got the big weight discrepancy as well. I'm glad he took the fight. Well done to both for giving us a great fight. And as you said, Sandy Ryan, just, just a brilliant, dominant performance. You know, the best welterweight in the world. And look at the fights that are out there for her. Chantel Cameron, Natasha Jonas, Michaela Meyer. Big night for her. Just last one. When we was all watching that Campbell Hatton versus Jimmy Joe Flint fight, you was getting very, very animated. Mm. More than usual. You absolutely loved that, didn't you? You know why? Because I just, I love it. I love it, and I really wanted him to win, really bad, because he gets terrible stick, Campbell Hatton, and he's a lovely kid, and he works his nuts off every day. And just because he's not as good as Ricky Hatton, who was one of the best fighters the country's ever produced, it doesn't mean that he ain't a good fighter. You know, and his trainer, his uncle, Matthew Hatton, he lost on the way up. He went on to win European titles. He went on to fight Kel Brook, fight Canelo Alvarez. And, you know, who knows what the future is for Campbell Hatton? But I like the kid. He's got a good heart and he's trying his heart out. And he will improve. Tonight he lost. But it's the way you lose. And at the end of the day, all we want to do, all of us, is see great fights, isn't it? Back and forward fights. Blood and guts with your heart on your sleeve. And that's what Campbell Hatton delivered for us tonight. So respect him and say thank you for giving us a great fight. And good luck, kid. Go away, lick your wounds, train hard and come back again. And I'd love to make the rematch. Eddie Hearn, thank you very much for being to IFL TV. Anything else you'd like to say in this uh, rather ranty interview, I'd like to say? I wouldn't say it was ranty. We just got to put some straight facts out there, Joseph. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> See you, boy. <laughs> See you later. Wall Street memes casino. I'm fine. And sportsbook. <laughs> 